The Joe Rogan Experience continues to be one of the most popular podcasts in the world, due in no small part to the controversy that often surrounds it. But the reality is the show's entertainment value is a big draw. Joe's roots, after all, are in stand-up comedy. And one of the most important tools in any stand-up's bag is impressions. Joe's no slouch when it comes to nailing impersonations. He's also willing to go after most people. That's why we've put together a list of a few great ones. While this might not be a character everyone knows, it's the closest Joe gets to sounding like the former president. And boy are there a lot of those impressions. While this may serve as one of the topics that often veers into the controversy we mentioned up top, it sure doesn't help to have a funny voice and take on someone close to the former president. When a really old, fucked up looking yeah, guy yeah. can get a fucking nice that one. That guy is a billionaire. He's a billionaire. A nice one. For sure. Nice. That's mine. That's mine. Look at them tits. Yeah. Look at them tits. I suck on them. And it has a... Joe's impressions aren't limited to the podcast. Here's a clip of him practicing as Joey Diaz with friends at a party. If you like your impressions of the TMZ style, check this one out. And while you're at it, check out some of Joey Diaz's episodes of the show. It's proof that this impression is right on. What a way to whip. After all these years, why did you decide to tie the knot? Ah, uh, what the fuck? You live, you walk. You're walking on ice, you might as well dance. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <coughs> what the fuck? You playing games? Uh, so, <laughs> all right. Um. One of the most controversial men in the media today. The characteristic voice and mannerisms are perfectly nailed down. The comedy here writes itself. Gays, frogs, and other off-the-wall conspiracies make anyone calling Joe a conspiracy theorist look a bit off the mark, as Alex continues to go crazier and crazier. And as we get more videos of him freaking out at restaurants, hopefully we see Joe's impressions and jokes get even more pointed. Propaganda, disinformation about Masons being about geometry. They're about control! <laughs> They're about taking your soul! Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> not going to stand for it! <laughs> Frequent guest on the show and personal friend with Rogan, one of the hardest men alive. In this clip, Joe has the luxury of a personal text from the man himself. With the subject of the impersonation writing the script, this impression really soars. It's nice to see an impression of someone Joe truly respects. A bit of love behind the solid mimic never hurt anybody. This day, 54 years ago, <laughs> you took your first breath. With taking that first breath, it made you eligible to die. I hope you're not enjoying your day by sitting on the fucking couch with your feet up. Hopefully you're out there somewhere suffering, talking to that inner bitch. See, Joe, the inner bitch loves motherfuckers' birthdays. Why? <laughs> I'm Why? so jealous. Because it makes you an even bigger bitch. Because we feel it's our special fucking day. So we can just chill the fuck out. Most people wake up to just exist on this planet. Few people in the world have received as much attention this year as Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. Luckily, Joe's ready with a solid impression here as well. We'd love to see a Johnny to complete this scene, but still, what a tee up for a hot discussion about who was right and who was wrong in this very debatable case. He's on all of his fingers. Where are the marks in your face? It's, it's, she's insane. The best part though was her lying about donating the money to the ACLU and the Children's Hospital. She said, yeah, yes, I pledged the money. And they go, no, you said you donated the money. I, I, I did pledge the money. Another topic of conversation that could potentially stir controversy, Joe's take on Vice President Kamala Harris. Joe nails down the way the Vice President speaks while gesticulating. It isn't often, though, that we see her impersonated. It seems Joe picked up on an opportunity to soften what could be some controversial takes in a nice, funny delivery pulled from many of Harris's press conferences. It's definitely worth checking the videos out for this one rather than just listening. The passage of time <laughs> is about time and passing time. It's not and that's fun. why we have watches. <laughs> we have watches because otherwise, how would you know how much time has passed? <laughs> Time is a fleeting time type thing that only <laughs> only happens when time passes. If you just sit there, so let's be good to each other with time. A classic. One of the worst things about impressions is that they're often out of date and stale. OJ Simpson, however, continues to stay relevant through social media posts and appearances. 
Joe knows this and always has a voice ready to poke at the athlete and unconvicted murderer. It's nice to see someone commenting on OJ's current weirdness and creepy antics rather than rehashing material about a white Ford Bronco. He has, after all, written books admitting his guilt, stolen sports memorabilia, and ended up in jail yet again since all that happened in the 90s. But the strangest of all is when OJ comments on things he has no business commenting on. This is what Joe normally finds most interesting. Duh, you know, I just, I went to the airport, just like normal. <clears throat> Everything was normal. And then when I got to the airport, there's a, M Mr. Simpson, we want to talk to you about the murder of your wife. Well, what? My wife was murdered? Huh? <laughs> I mean, I was in, in shock. I, 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 I was uh, despondent. <laughs> That's right, wild pigs. Not all mimics have to be human. One could argue, in fact, that animal impersonations are harder than that of people. They do, after all, have a completely different set of vocal cords to work with. Where Joe lives in Texas, these wild boar are a menace. The state government is so lax with their hunting laws for these beasts, they are even able to hunt from helicopters with automatic rifles. This, of course, is a subject Joe Rogan can't resist. These aren't your friendly barnyard animals, and he really captures just how terrifying they could be. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's gone ballistic. Here comes another one with a bit of controversy we mentioned before. Still, it's good to wrap those comments in a solid impression, and Joe usually delivers the spoonful of sugar to help that medicine go down. Ideally, listeners from both sides of the aisle enjoy this one, but when that's not the case, it's certainly something Joe is now used to. What we're scared of is like someone like Nancy Pelosi. Like, have you ever given your husband to? No, never. Oh, that's enough of that. Get out of here. That's right, bears. Another animal impression to add to the collection with wild pigs comes an equally terrifying animal, the grizzly. Joe's roars are so good, in some cases, it seems like they may even call a real bear in the wild. With your eyes closed, that just may be the sound worth running away from. Joe's open about his love for nature and hunting, and it shows in his impressions of animals. Here are a few times Joe absolutely nailed a bear's roar. <laughs> bear just... With that fucking... <laughs> ah, <laughs> boom! Yeah. Snap. And there you have it, everyone. A look at Joe Rogan and the times he used his impressions. Which ones do you applaud Joe for having key thoughts about? Which is scarier, wild pigs or bears?